Hi everyone, Vegetable Man here with the announcement of four new premium ships for World of Warships Legends. I thought I would do a video quickly to look at them in the PC version. Uh, I don't have the tier 6 battleship, that was actually a promo only as far as I can tell, uh, given away at the when they first brought the battleships into the game, the Soviet battleships into the game on the PC version. But you can find that on the information on that on the wiki page, which I will link in the description below. The first one I'm going to show is the tier 4 Krasny Cream, or the Krispy Cream, as she's well known on the PC version, and also well known as possibly the worst ship in the game, tier for tier. Now, I must be absolutely clear, this is the PC version of the ships and may not apply. Anything I talk about here may not apply to the console version. Um, and I would like to think, for example, that the Krasny Cream is known to be a poor ship in the PC version, so is the Marblehead. And in Legends, the Marblehead is very strong. So your mileage may vary. However, this is what this uh, beauty of a ship looks like. Um, yeah. So looking at the armor layout, let's have a quick look. Uh, I'll turn these ones on and yep, she's 13 millimeters of armor, 25 millimeters of armor. Uh, well, it's pretty much what you'd expect from a low tier cruiser, to be honest. Uh, if we have a quick look here at the Citadel, the Citadel is just above the waterline and it's pretty damn big. So, <laughs> expect to eat the odd Citadel here and there. That's really all I have to say about the ship. We can have a look at actually what consumables are mounted. We've got Repair Party and Hydro. I expect it to be much the same on Legends. Moving on, tier 5 on the PC version, sorry, I'm not sure what tier it's going to be on the uh, Legend, so I'll have a quick look at that afterwards. Uh, this is the HMS Exeter, one of, uh, actually a very famous cruiser, very famous heavy cruiser for the Royal Navy, uh, played a part in the sinking of the Graf Spey. So she is armed with, let's have a quick look at the artillery first. Being a heavy cruiser, we have two by three, sorry, three by two, 203 millimeter. So that's uh, eight inch heavy cruiser guns, six of them. And uh, different from, on the PC version at least, as I say, you're, you're, it may vary on the on Legends, we have um, these are our consumables here. We have a normal damage control party. We have a heal, we have hydro, we have a spotter plane, actually a fighter, uh, which can't be changed. Now, she doesn't have smoke, and this is where she differs a bit from the uh, standard, the light cruiser line of the PC. I'm picking it'll be the same in Legends. I don't think she'll have a smoke in Legends either. She can fire both HE and AP. Again, PC version only, but I'd expect it to be the same on Legends. So, uh, you know, I guess in that respect, like the Belfast, uh, in no other respect is she like the Belfast. Uh, if we have a quick look at the armor layout here, so we'll just get rid of that. Uh, she's got a, quite a large citadel and very high above the water, or what I would call very high above the water, and quite an odd shape, actually, if you uh, have a look there. It's got quite an odd shape. It's the machinery section. So prone to citadels, if we pop up our armor here, you can see 13 millimeter armors either end. So that's not going to be a struggle for many of the battleships at uh, the tier to overmatch. So yeah, so she's quite squishy, um, but but still a, a fun ship to play, I think. Um, and a good change from the light cruiser line, which I, you know, which it's good if they're not all the same. And the final one that I have in my port is the Z39. Tier 7 in the PC version. Uh, she's not tier 7 on Legend. She's going to be a tier 6. I'll just put the uh, camo on that I would imagine. This is the premium camo. This is the one I imagine we'll see on the ship in the Legends version. Um, yeah, one of my favorite destroyers actually at tier 7. Uh, she's, she's big. She's got a lot of hit points. Uh, fast reloading torpedoes, good guns, not particularly maneuverable, 
um, and hydro as well. So I'm picking these things will be the same. DCP, just standard there. Smokes, engine boost on the PC version. I'm not sure if it'll have that in Legends or not. And hydro as well with uh, 3.5 torpedo kilometer range for torpedoes and five kilometers for ships. I would not be surprised if those are tweaked. And if we see the torpedoes here, they come with a, a no commander uh, and a reload time of 90 seconds on the PC version, which you can obviously drop. Um, and if I just, I was talking about she's a big ship, she's got a lot of hit points, 19,600, um, which is unusual. If I look at the Leningrad, for example, uh, only 15,000 on the Leningrad. Uh, have I got any other tier seven destroyers in my port? I've got the Sims. Again, 13,000. So, as you can see, she's got a lot of hit points for her tier. So, that was a very quick look at the uh, ships, the new premium ships that will be coming out this month. Hopefully, they're not changed too much, um, but I'm looking forward to having a look. And I might pick up the Exeter uh, myself, is what I'm thinking at this stage. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time.